Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So today I thought I'd do a video on what to look for during incubation with your eggs and your humidity buildup. People have got in contact and asked if, uh, they've asked me a couple of questions, but basically they've asked me if the eggs dimpling down and the humidity building in the tubs is anything to, um, to worry about. So I thought I'd cover it on the video. I hope this helps some of you out and I do know I have some new people to the hobby that follow the channel because it says that some of my videos are helping them along which I'm really glad it's helping you. So I thought I'd cover this video just to highlight what to look for and why and just to let you know that that humidity build up and the eggs dimpling down is completely natural, nothing to worry about and it is part of the process as the process goes along. So I hope this video is helpful and just as a little bit of a bonus, I just driving along, I thought of a little game we can play. Um, it's a very simple game, but uh, I hope you get involved and you know, uh, if somebody wins the game and chooses to go ahead with uh, cash in their prize, it could be worth quite a lot of money. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk about that later in the video and get involved whether you want to win the prize or not. Cheers, guys. So as promised, we're gonna take a little close look at some eggs that are incubating. Now, when I moved this uh, tub out of the incubator onto this table, we did lose some of the droplets. But basically, this um, incubator, uh, sorry, this tub is currently um, maybe halfway through incubation, and you can see there is a little bit of buildup of humidity on the lid. Now, taking a close look at the eggs, typically when you take the tub off, you'll that little bit of humidity on the top will stay on the top. You can see a little bit more clearly there. Now, it typically will all go dropping onto the eggs, and if it does, it's nothing really to worry about as long as all your eggs are clumped together where it can make a puddle. If the droplets can roll off the eggs and land into the substrate, that's absolutely fine. Now, to check your uh, incubation tub, if you are a little bit concerned, just nuzzle your fingers down uh, the, the edges, and if you can, if some of the bedding sticks to your hands because it's so wet and you can feel the moisture, everything should be just fine. You can obviously, you can see my hand is dry. Now you can obviously do this on both sides. So you can see the bedding is sticking, the uh, vermiculite should I say, is sticking to my fingers because it is very, very wet. Now I do apologize for the noise in the background. Once again, that is a monitor lizard that is currently housed here, but will be soon moving to my shop ocean cars and reptiles. So that's uh, a tub of eggs incubating approximately halfway through. Um, now we're gonna take a look at uh, a clutch that is very, very close to hatching. Hi guys, so now we're looking at a clutch that is much further on. These are approximately eight days off pipping and this clutch was a pastel clown to a pastel spot nose clown. As we remove the lid, now I will say before I do this, when I took this to out the incubator, a lot of the humidity droplets did drop, but, if I was a little bit less careful, a little bit more careful, sorry, I would have kept a lot of humidity on there. Now you can see instantly we've got a lot of droplets. That's basically because these eggs are now sweating a lot of the humidity out that they earlier collected from the environment of the tub and these are getting ready to pip. Like I said, there's, they're about eight days away and feeling them from below, you can quite clearly feel the baby inside. Now, a lot of people contact me or, or quiz me on this um, all of a sudden huge buildup of humidity and I get a little bit concerned. It's actually a very good sign. It, it's a sign that the eggs are getting ready to pip and it's exactly what should happen. So please don't worry if uh, much later on in incubation your tubs are looking more and more humid. That is completely natural and once again nothing to worry about. So basically um, for a little bit of a game um, I've numbered the, these eggs one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's kind of a free rot there and a very faint free there. I'll write it on a little bit clearer. Free, there we go. So my pen's working a bit better now. So five and six. So there's a little bit of a game, and that is the first time I've ever wrought an egg to the best of my knowledge. Um, there's a bit of a game. 
I want I want people who want to get involved to guess which is in every egg. Obviously one egg could have a, a pair of twins in, that would be a, an urban constrictor's first. But if you want to play along, guess what is in each egg. And if you get all the babies correct, you'll get 10% off any baby you choose from this clutch should you want to buy one. And it doesn't matter how much the baby costs or where you are in the world. If you want to purchase one, uh, you get 10% off right obviously you don't have to take me up on the prize you can just play along just for the fun now this clutch was a pastel clown to a pastel spot nose clown so the worst thing we can hatch is a clown and the very best thing we can hatch is a super pastel spot nose clown a killer spot nose clown as it's otherwise known so hope this uh, little bit of an educational video helped you guys um, if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below I'll be happy to answer them for you I hope everyone's having a fantastic season and I do hope you're having a good day. Spread the positivity, uh, let's keep smiling and um, I'll touch on next video. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video for whatever reason, give it two thumbs down and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much guys, bye bye.